I rise this morning to pay tribute to a native uh, Pennsylvanian. Today we honor what would have been the 100th birthday of one of Pennsylvania's most famous sons, Jimmy Stewart. The fact that we call him Jimmy tells a lot about who he was, what he meant to our state, what he meant to America. Jimmy Stewart is most famous for his unforgettable roles in movies like Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, It's a Wonderful Life, and on and on. So many great movies that we remember him by. But Jimmy Stewart never forgot his Pennsylvania roots. He was born in Indiana, Pennsylvania on May the 20th, 1908. His family owned the hometown hardware store in Indiana where the Stewart family could trace their roots to Indiana County back to 1772. Stewart attended Princeton University where he studied architecture and he graduated in 1932. Because of the stock market crash of 1929 and the Great Depression that followed, Jimmy Stewart questioned whether he would find employment as an architect and he accepted a position in an acting troupe. Shortly after joining, Stewart began working on Broadway, which eventually led to screen tests with major motion picture production companies. His work in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, in which he played a freshman United States Senator, earned him his first nomination for an Academy Award. He was also nominated for Oscars for Best Actor for It's a Wonderful Life, released in 1946, Harvey, released in 1950, and Anatomy of a Murder, released in 1959. He won his only Academy Award for Best Actor in 1940 for his role in The Philadelphia Story. I have to say, in a personal way, Mr. President, that every December during the holiday season, I think I join a lot of Americans in trying to watch yet again It's a Wonderful Life. And the reason I watch it, plenty of reasons, but principally because it's a really American story, an American story of struggle, an American story of family love, and the positive impact one person's life can have on an entire community. We all know that Jimmy Stewart served his country in World War II, uh, but was initially rejected from service because he was five pounds underweight. But he wouldn't let that stop him from serving. He went home to Indiana, added some weight, and enlisted in the Army Air Corps. He got a whole series of commendations for his service uh, in the Army Air Corps. He retired from the Air Force in 1968 at the mandatory retirement age and received the, the Distinguished Service Medal. The signature charity event that he uh, started, the Jimmy Stewart Relay Marathon Race, held each year since 1982, has raised millions of dollars for the Child and Family Development Center at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California. Jimmy Stewart received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Scientists and the Life Achievement Award from the American Film Institute for fundamentally advancing the art of American film. The American Red Cross presented Jimmy Stewart with their Humanitarian Award for service to his fellow man. And on his 75th birthday, his hometown of Indiana unveiled a statue of their native son in front of the Indiana County Courthouse. Jimmy Stewart passed away on July 2nd, 1997. He was mourned by fans worldwide. Perhaps, perhaps the greatest tribute of the American Film Institute was the ob observation that James Stewart is an actor that, quote, so beloved by the, the movie-going public that they call him Jimmy, just like a member of the family, unquote. His was truly a remarkable life. In Pennsylvania and across America today, we say happy 100th birthday, Jimmy. I rise this morning to pay tribute to a native uh, Pennsylvanian. Today we honor what would have been the 100th birthday of one of Pennsylvania's most famous sons, Jimmy Stewart. The fact that we call him Jimmy tells a lot about who he was, what he meant to our state, what he meant to America.